Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. It's Jane once again. First of all, a happy Father's Day and a big shout out to all dads and father figures out there. And as a tribute, today we are going to fill this tray up with my husband's perfume collection. It's a small but pretty decent one in my honest opinion, so if that's something you're interested in, please keep watching! This has also been a requested video by a subscriber some time ago and finally I had the guts to do this today. I'm not too adept at men's fragrances so I will try my very best to describe them to you. These are truly my husband's choices except for two bottles which I gifted him with. So these are full bottles plus one sample because the full bottle is still on the way. And so without further ado, let's get on with this fragrance. This comes in no particular order, although I will say my top three favorites to smell on him at the end of the video. So this first one is a very basic masculine clean cologne scent fresh and simple this is a 90s fragrance has a bunch of notes included but i mostly get fresh bergamot in the opening and mixed with clean green notes a little minty and spicy nothing in here is sharp the florals in the heart gives this a little sweetness preventing this from smelling flat overall so this dries down woody musky but retains that freshness not the best for lasting but i can imagine this is a joy to respray great for a casual hot humid day this is a t-shirt day perfume nothing too serious this is unisex smelling to my nose although marketed for men i can totally wear this too this will do well as a first perfume for a teenager as well so that's from calvin klein ckb this next one probably needs no further introduction as this is all too popular and yes, my husband is a Sauvage fanatic. So this is a fairly recent discovery of his. Back when this was too popular, more popular than now, I don't think he knew this existed thankfully. So this is your Ambroxan Bomb with a fresh, mildly spicy, sweet opening. This works well, very, very well for his skin chemistry. On me, this honestly smells like a bug repellent, but on him, the longer this stays, the better it smells. This projects as it warms up to the skin. Great for our hot, humid climate over here. He uses this for work, also for weekends out, daytime. So this is Dior Sauvage, the Eau de Toilette, the original version. The next two are from Burberry, and this is Mr. Burberry, the Eau de Parfum, the original. So this is your warm, spicy, aromatic, and woody scent. I love the dry down on this more than the opening. This lasts longer. I think this lasts the longest among all the flankers. And the woodiness in the dry down is just so amazing. The other one is the fresher take on Mr. Burberry. And this is called Burberry Indigo. So uh, this is a... Uh, fresher spicy aromatic green smelling scent this does not have the depth of the eau de parfum but i really really do love the opening on this this is very fresh and uplifting great to spray on after a shower to prolong that after shower vibe this also has iso e super giving off that musky slightly ambery vibe but still very very fresh until the dry down so both of this um are francis Curtijan creations my husband layers these two at the moment these two are his daily work um, staples so these are Burberry Mr. Burberry Indigo and Mr. Burberry Eau de Parfum another popular fragrance and another Francis Curdijan creation so Francis Curdijan's creation just happens to work well with my husband's skin chemistry so he discovered this while I was testing this out for myself from the sample set I got back in December so in comparison to how flat this was on my skin on my husband this was a different perfume altogether it's the best smelling longest lasting very sexy perfume on him he hijacked my sample wore it to the last drop and here we are with a full bottle um, so he loves this so much that we gifted him with a travel spray version so he can bring this around everywhere he goes so if you love how this smells but unfortunately this doesn't work for you spray this on your better half this might just work for him or her and enjoy the scent just the same so this is Baccarat Rouge 540 Eau de Parfum from Maison Francis Curdijan 
Another amazing muscular floral scent is this one from Moschino called Toy Boy. This is another perfume that I would like to work on me, but smells just fabulous on my husband's skin. This is unisex smelling to my nose, but also falls flat on my skin. So this is your masculine spicy rose scent. Very, very sexy. Amazingly soothing. This is an amazing perfume in a tacky bottle. <laughs> but to me, this is niche quality in a very affordable price and a very... Uh, this designer presentation so if your partner has a similar test taste with my husband uh, chances are he's going to like this and if he doesn't you can rock this perfume as well I think this is perfectly unisex I spray this on myself from time to time so this is Moschino Toy Boy Tom Ford Tuscan Leather so uh, this is the newest bottle in his collection um, this is an unmistakable masculine scent and as the name suggests this is a very leather forward fragrance smells very very opulent a little smoky to my nose so this to me is a dressed up kind of fragrance or something to wear to an event great for men in their 30s onwards not for a very young gentleman in my opinion so dear this works best indoors aircon environment or for a nighttime event here in the philippines so if this is something you're interested in, that's Tom Ford Tuscan Leather. This next one is another Tom Ford fragrance called F Fabulous. So this is another leather forward fragrance. So this was another sample I passed to him to try, which really, really worked for him. I spoke about this in an earlier video. I leave a link down below if you're interested to catch that. So this is one of those fragrances that would smell unisex on the bottle, but is best worn on a man's skin in my honest opinion. So hard to explain this fragrance. It also has a bunch of notes. So this simply smells like a very sexy very successful powerful person so spicy leathery fragrance a little vanillary um, sweet in a very unisex kind of way nothing here screams to masculine or feminine in my opinion this just smells way better on my husband so if you'd like some tom ford fragrances catch this one uh fucking fabulous from tom ford yet another humid weather staple is uh, and a must have freshie when you live in a hot humid place so this is an oldie but a goodie so this is called bulgari aqua per om the original so another refreshing aquatic citrus fragrance this is more marine aquatic than citrus to my nose it's great for casual wear or daytime dates during the summer this has been in my husband's collection for a few years now i think this is his third bottle so your dependable freshie bulgari aqua per om this next one is the only wood fragrance in his collection. So this is his colder weather staple. Something about this smells like the Christmas season to me. So this has a fresh tea and bergamot in the opening, giving way to an woody, woody, leathery experience in the middle to the dry down. So the wood in here is very, very friendly. More woody to my nose than animalic. So this has a deeper, more sensual, spicy cinnamony gourmandy touch than tom ford's tuscan leather so i think that's why this reminds me so much of christmas or the colder season so from atkinson's that's oud save the king last but definitely not the least is this one his wedding day fragrance artisan by john varvatos this is also his second bottle so probably the most soapy smelling in his collection so this is another fresh citrusy spicy fragrance perfect for the heat and humidity um this is a nice chill relaxed scent very very approachable smelling nothing offensive great for everyday outdoors or for a daytime special occasion this was the perfect scent for our 3 p.m. wedding ceremony followed by a late afternoon reception. I introduced him to this fragrance and I'm glad that he liked it enough to buy another bottle. Maybe it's also for nostalgic reasons. So this one is by John Vervatos Artisan. Great to own for a man when you're from around here. So I love how 
all of these fragrances smell on my husband but if i were to pick my top three they would be on the number one spot is this one from mason francis cardigan pakara rouge 540 oud de parfum the top two choices are a tie between mr burberry and mr burberry indigo also by francis cardigan and lastly is a tom ford fragrance this one called fabulous so that's it for today guys. A big shout out again to all daddies and daddy figures out there who might be watching this. Thank you to my husband Radel for letting me borrow all these wonderful bottles. So if you like this video, please, please don't forget to like and share. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Click on the bell icon to be notified of future uploads. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!